Hello, I'm Zachary Kenyon. I'm a tech lead on the ServiceNow uh, implementation side here at RepDev. I help uh, lead projects and do uh, development for our ITOM engagements. ITOM is uh, ServiceNow's IT operations management solution. Um, we have several components under that. From the ServiceNow perspective, there is the ITOM uh, visibility, which includes discovery uh, and service mapping. Uh, primarily, and we also have ITOM Health, which includes event management and health log analytics, as well as things like uh, metric intelligence. ITOM is the process of managing the operational um, tools in a company. The purpose of ITOM is to is to prevent uh, issues that cause companies to lose money and time and productivity. For all the IT or, uh, oriented components of ServiceNow, your CMDB is going to be the core. Uh, foundation that, that you're building on. And that's because everything that um, you're doing in an IT environment is largely going to be around some kind of an infrastructure component, and you need to have that information in order to be able to accurately reflect what you're doing, right? I think changes are the number one cause of outages in environments. It's generally when you change something and you don't understand what you're doing, uh, how it affects everything else. From the visibility perspective, um, ServiceNow Discovery is uh, going to populate a configuration management database, or CMDB, with all of the infrastructure components that a company uses to do their business. Service mapping is uh, the process of mapping application services, so you can have a good representation of what components make up a particular application service. This is important because, um, from the Discovery perspective, uh, populating the configuration management database is necessary so that when you have uh, changes or incidents or problems, you can accurately reflect what components are um, affected by that. And for service mapping, it uh, is putting it into a top-down perspective that indicates which components roll up directly to which application services. You want to be able to have a fully populated CMDB, right? So for discovery, that's gonna, that's gonna fill in all of your CIs, and then service mapping will arrange those as to what components are, are um, used by what applications. There's not a plug and play implementation for uh, ITOM in general. Um, I, don't, I don't think anyone would, would say that you could just do that. So there's gonna be a lot of configuration involved in an ITOM deployment. I like to say that if you're doing discovery, you should only discover something that you're going to um, report on, have governance around, or create uh, incidents or changes around. You shouldn't be discovering things that nobody's ever gonna look at. There's no point. Uh, you're just gonna fill up your CMDB with um, worthless uh, information. The second thing that's very important is you want to make sure that you have accurate data, right? I like to say that um, bad data is worse than no data, because if you have no data, then that's just a blind spot. But if you have bad data, then you're going to be making decisions based on the wrong information. The challenge that we see a lot lately is that a lot of cloud environments um, don't have the ability to go into that level of detail and granularity to get to those configuration files, for example, to, to be able to identify the next layer of connections. So that's a challenge when you deal with things like Kubernetes, OpenShift uh, technologies, things like that. The solution that ServiceNow has developed and that we recommend is, is using tag-based technologies to do that. So you can, using your um, DevOps tool, you can uh, tag any components that are being built and spun up um, with whatever services that um, component is a part of. And then ServiceNow can automatically identify those and put them all into a, into a service map directly, right? So it doesn't actually rely on being able to get into the, um, the guts of a particular component to scan its configuration files. It just looks at the tags that you put on there. So we've, we've seen a lot of great successes with that. Then from uh, when you move into the ITOM health area with event management, you get into being able to um, proactively identify issues through events being sent from your infrastructure components and being able to identify problems hopefully before they become uh, real issues for your, for your organization. Health Log Analytics takes that a step further and analyzes uh, logs and other uh, data sources from your components and uses some machine learning components and uh, AI components to scan those proactively and determine problems before they really become problems. For a ServiceNow perspective, uh, event management is, it's an aggregator really of all the different events that your, that your company comes up with, right? So for different event sources such as uh, Splunk, Dynatrace, uh, anything that you have that's reporting events, you may have multiple tools that are all reporting events uh, differently. And ServiceNow is a way to aggregate those into a single pane of glass and do standardization and normalization on those. And ServiceNow can then take those events, normalize them and aggregate them together um, so that you can get a better view of what's going on in your environment. All right? It's really important because you know outages cost companies millions of dollars every year. Right. So. 
If you can head off a single outage by getting an event or a log ingestion that says something is going wrong but hasn't actually impacted anyone yet, you can save uh, downtime, prevent outages, and uh, really make a difference in your, in your company. The timeline um, for nighttime implementation can really vary depending on the complexity of the environment. My personal philosophy is it's better to move fast, be agile, come up with uh, something that uh, may not solve every problem you have, but it solves some of them, and iterate from there. The thing that excites me most about ITOM is the amount of potential there is there, right? It, if you put all the pieces for ITOM together, you get discovery, service mapping, event management, health log analytics, you get all those pieces put together and working correctly, um, it's, it's a thing of beauty, but the difficulty is in the details, right? It's getting all those pieces to fit together without running into problems. You know, we have a, a great breadth of experience and um, we can help share the lessons learned from, from numerous customers. Mm -hmm.